Happy Tuesday, everyone. This is Derek the Nitwit. Thanks for stopping by. And if this is your first time here, welcome. And to all my people that are coming back, welcome back. So today is cold outside. Yesterday, Sunday and Monday were in the 70s, like mid-70s. Short, short weather. Sorry, I have my partial in and I'm lisping. Anyway, short weather. And today is like a high of like 33. Tomorrow is a high of 30, maybe. Okay, I know there's a whole huge group of y'all that this is considered warm. Um, I am don't mind the cold as long as I don't have to be out in it constantly. I'd And I'd rather be cold than hot any day. Um, but I was in there the last two days thinking, okay, well, at least I don't have to leave the house. Nope. I had a doctor appointment today. It was my shrink. So, went to went to therapy. Not therapy. Went to see the shrink. Um, we talked about options. Um, I'm going to try to get back on the Vivance, but I have to see a, instead of seeing a PA, I have to see a the actual shrink shrink. And I can't get into them for eight weeks. So, yeah. We did increase one of my medicines um, that is given as an adjunct to antidepressants to see if that helps. But we're really not holding our breath anymore. Um, I officially have treatment-resistant depression. Um, I talked to the doctor about, you know, when... I get Medicare this fall, should I think about, you know, should I start considering ECT or transcranial, it's re repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation, something like that. And my opinion was, yes, that ECT should be the last resort, that I should try um, the giant magnet thing, um, or actually this thing called esketamine, which is a version of ketamine that they're finding works with people with depression. Um, it works with a lot of people with depression. It helps rebuild neural pathways. Both of them help stimulate um, neural pathways and different things, actual like physical changes in the brain that can be permanent, not just a chemical um, change that happens just because you're taking a particular medicine. These are things like <coughs> the giant magnet thing. Um, and that's just, I'm stuck calling it a magnet thing. Um, it's done five days a week for between four to six weeks. And then you're pretty much, you know, unless they decide at some point that you need to do it again, that's generally it. Um, the isketamine is, I'm not sure how it's done, but it's one of those that, you know, you basically, you go, you do this nasal spray at the doctor's office, then you sit there and trip balls for, at the doctor's office for a couple hours until they determine that you're, you know, safe to leave. And then you go home and both of them, you know, require, you know, continuing therapy and medication, you know, like your antidepressants, you know, CBT or ACT or whatever version of behavioral therapy that you want to do. Um, so I think my, given the preference, my first choice would be the esketamine. And the second choice would be the magnet. And the third choice would be ECT. The magnet can have, I mean, all of them are going to have side effects. You know, I mean, that's just a point of life you know, fact of life. I'm going to have to deal with side effects. But the side effects seem to be more tolerable, more enjoyable maybe, I don't know, with the isketamine than it would be with the um, the magnet or with the ECT. Now, both the magnet th therapy and the ECT can cause headaches, um, but obviously with ECT, it is such severe, you know, much more severe headaches that would last longer. I actually found out tonight, I have a friend that went through the magnet thing and apparently was very effective for that person. So that made me feel a lot better. Um, 
So, other than that, I'm, you know, doctor was a doctor. It was not bad. And even though I had to ride the bus to the doctor, I didn't have to ride the bus home, which meant I didn't have to spend as long out in the cold. So, you know, it's all good. But I got home today and I got to put together my new yarn shelf. This is the modular unit. It arrived today. It actually arrived several hours before I had to leave earlier. So I technically could have done a live, but I just wasn't feeling it. I didn't want to feel rushed. So we, um, we, there is no we. We is me and the cats. Anyway, we put the, the thing together, um, and I have all my yarn on it, and I'm going to hear me just a second, and I will show you what it looks like. is my lovely yarn shelf. This is all my yarn. And you know, I know that that's still a lot of yarn, but for whatever reason, having it out like that just doesn't look like as much yarn. Okay, I lied. I've, I've got um, six of these Bernat Home Decks set aside because I am was working on a project with them. But we have up at the top, for the most part, those are at the very top. Those are my scrap balls. And that is a, can you see? There we go. That is a volcano. The picture of a volcano. And, and that's Groot. But that top row is primarily my Mexico yarns. Although there's a few others that aren't Mexico in there, then the rest of these are just all the other yarns that I have in one entire cube of Karen cakes. And then at the bottom, even more yarn, my looms, and that one is my diamond paint. And those are my toes. So there's Niles. He just sat there and laughed at me the whole time that I was putting it together, but... And look, there's the the blender goblin. Actually, hey, he's the blender goblin, but he's not sitting on a blender. It's a food processor. So anyway, I had that set up, and we'll see how much my cats will get into it. They've already been sniffing at it. Max has been down in where the looms were. Um, but... Hopefully, they will behave. I do have my water bottle right there. 
for teaching them that that is a last resort to get them to leave the the yard alone. But, you know. So, anyway, there's my kitchen. I need to go and newt, or not newt, but heat up my dinner. So, I will get this edited, get this uploaded, and I will see you guys tomorrow.